Bonjour! Today I'm going to talk to you about wordreference.com, which is a wonderful tool um, for your study of French to help you look up individual words and um, learn new things as you are trying to read and write in French. So um, I just typed in wordreference.com. It remembered that I had um, searched in English and French earlier today in preparation for this activity. But if you take a look, there's Spanish, French, Italian, um, there's all sorts of German, all sorts of languages here. So you're going to choose either English to French or French to English, depending on what you're trying to um, accomplish. Let's click on English to French, and I'm going to type in the word fan. Because um, lots of times people say, oh, I'm a big fan of, um, of this team or a big fan of this uh, particular musical artist. So... Um, You'll notice, though, that the word fan, and you probably obviously know this already, the word fan can have several meanings in English. So here it's going to tell you fan. Okay, the device that blows air is a ventilateur in French. Um, a fan that you wave in your hand is an éventail. Um, the fan of a sp sports team is going to be called a supporter. Um, a we also have a um, what they call an anglicisme, or a word that was borrowed from English. We actually use the word fan in French. Um, so if you were um, a fan of this one, elle est fan de ce site, um, she's a fan of that website. But if you were a fan of um, Tennessee Balls, if you were a fan of Justin Bieber, it doesn't matter, um, je suis fan, I'm a fan. So, and as you scroll down, there's even more ways that we can use the word fan. And then if you happen to have a particular um, type of fan that you were talking about, for example, you wanted to talk about the ceiling fan in your bedroom, um, change the topic completely. Um, if you wanted to talk about um, a, a famous person receiving fan mail, or you yourself receiving fan mail, um, you, we call that courrier. Des admirateurs. So, um, all sorts of ways that we can use um, the word fan and their equivalent um, expressions in French. So, um, you could use this for any number of things. Um, let's see, we can also, let's do a search from French to English and let's type in um, livre. Okay, so um, it's telling us that there is actually a, a verb that we can use there. But a livre can also be a book. Um, a livre can be a pound if you're traveling to England um, where they use the pound. It can also be a pound of weight. Un livre de tomate would be a pound of tomatoes. Um, and in the sense of uh, accounting, a livre could be a book where you're keeping track of your accounts. So most likely, if you saw the, the word livre um, in, in French, it's usually going to refer to a book. But you'll see that occasionally it can re refer to something else. So then you have um, some expressions down here, just like we did in English, of words, that phrases that use the word livre. So... Un beau livre is a coffee table book, in case you need to know how to say that in French. So um, explore a little bit with word reference for me um, and see what you can learn with that. Save it as a bookmark in your um, web browser. Um, if you want to, you can even um, download their app and use that app to help you um, look up unknown words, um, either from French to English or English to French. And um, later on down the road, it might also be useful for you as we learn how to conjugate verbs. So I've heard from students that the app is super easy to use and they prefer it to the website. I haven't added it to my phone yet, but that's on my to-do list. So, merci beaucoup de votre attention. Thanks so much for listening. A bientôt.